TubeBuddy has helped me get over 7 million views and over 50,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So let me show you how you can start using TubeBuddy to get more views and subscribers for your YouTube channels. First thing we need to do is go to TubeBuddy, which I'll leave linked down below this video. And you're gonna click install free now. So we're gonna click that button. Then we're gonna add this little plugin right here. So I'm gonna click add to Chrome. It's going to add the extension after we press the button, give it a few seconds to install. Then it says it's been added to our Chrome. Then we'll go and create a new account. So we'll click create it. So click that button. Then we're gonna sign in with our YouTube account, AKA our Google account. So we're gonna click sign in with Google. And then you'll be able to link your YouTube channels on here. So if you see your channels popped up here, that's fantastic. And we can move on to the next step where we click launch extension in the top right corner. So we'll click launch extension. And now you can see it's brought us to our YouTube page saying, thank you for installing TubeBuddy. We're gonna sign in with YouTube once again. So we'll click sign in with YouTube. Then once you finish the process, you'll see this thank you for installing TubeBuddy, and then you can X this out. Once you've installed the TubeBuddy plugin, you can find it at the top of your YouTube whenever you go onto YouTube, and then you can click this button and you'll see this is your dashboard. The first tool that I'll be covering is the Keyword Explorer because I find it to be one of the most helpful tools, but I'll save my absolute favorite TubeBuddy tool for the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. So you can either click the Keyword Explorer option here and use it this way, or what I like to do even better is actually X that out and then go to the search bar and we can use it pretty much the same as the Keyword Explorer. This is really useful to find the best opportunities to make videos on. So for example, if I wanna make a gaming video, I'm gonna look up a trending game right now, like let's say Lethal Company, it's a new popular game. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. And if not, then get out the rock that you're living under. Come on guys get with the program. So we're going to look up Lethal Company in the search. I'm going to hit enter. And if we look on the sidebar over here, sometimes they'll have some junk here. You can go down to where you see the search explorer. Now we see the keyword score when we click this show keyword score button. So we're going to click that button. It's going to load and it's going to show if this is a good opportunity for you to make videos on. So right now it says fair 33 out of 100. I would say that's a bad opportunity. It's going to show how much search volume there is. It's about, you know, very good search volume. A lot of people are looking for it. But but there's a lot of competition. Trying to stand out on this topic is gonna to be really difficult. And as you can see, it also shows related searches, which is fantastic. So for example, if we wanted to make content, let's say Lethal Company Funny Moments. So I'm gonna click that. It's gonna go through that YouTube search and we're gonna check that keyword score again. So we're gonna hit show keyword score. It's gonna show us in just a second. So this is a little bit better. There's a lot of search volume and there's still a lot of competition though, which is why it's not fully green. It's only 58 out of 100. So. I would personally skip this opportunity as well because you're gonna have a lot of people to compete with. So we gotta get a little bit more creative. What we can do is come up with something else. What I found to be quite helpful is educating people on these type of games. So for example, I'll type in lethal company guide then I'll hit enter. We're going to search this term and we'll go down and show the keyword score. So we'll hit show keyword score and we can see this is an excellent opportunity. There's not as much search volume, but there's not as much competition. So we have a much better chance of standing out. And we can see that because if we look at the top videos, this guy, less than 300 subscribers, over 15,000 views. That's crazy. This one, 4,000 subscribers, over 100,000 views, that's nuts. If we go down, we got 600 subs for 74,000 views, that's crazy. So as you can see, these smaller YouTube channels are getting crazy views, and we can see that this is an excellent opportunity using the Search Explorer. And we can get even more specific. So for example, we have a beginner's guide, a monster guide, a terminal guide. Let's click on the monster guide and see if that gives us an even better score. So right now ours is 85 out of 100. So if we wait a second, we're gonna show the keyword score. And by the way, if you find this annoying, you can always upgrade to their paid plan, which is what I have, and I think it's freaking great. So I'll switch to my main profile so you can see the difference. But when you upgrade your TubeBuddy, you'll automatically not have to click the button. It'll also give you more than just three recommendations. I can literally just scroll for days and it'll just keep giving you suggestions, which is fantastic. But it's also super useful if you stay on the free plan as well, as I've showed you. So this gave us a 79 out of 100, very good. So technically not as good, but your competition is still pretty good, and I would still target this as an option. So for example, this has 4,500 subscribers and over 240,000 views. Those are crazy number. That's cuckoo. And so you can keep experimenting with different options. So let's say we want to do a uh, lethal company creature guide. So this one was further down the list, so you wouldn't be able to see it unless you got closer to that keyword. So I'm going to click on that and see how the creature guide goes. Hopefully it'll be a good one. I'm hoping for a banger. Let's see it. What's behind door number three? 
give us something good. Excellent, 100 out of 100. That's actually kind of insane. So search volume is crazy high. There is more competition, so it's gonna be harder to compete, but that search volume is freaking nuts. And if we look to the side here, so we got 161K subs, that's hard to compete with. 4,500, that's more doable. I say anything under 10K subs is way more doable to compete with. This one's 4K subs. Uh, same person, same person, same person. And this is what happens. If you can get a name and known for yourself on this topic, like Werps here, four and a half K, then you can capitalize on all of this search volume. And with this game, it's crazy search volume. So finding opportunities like this are happening every day. You just have to have the tools like this search explorer in order to use them and find them. And just utilizing the search explorer in this way has helped my channel get over 7 million views. By the way, if you don't mind dropping a quick like on this video, then it'll tell YouTube to recommend more of me so I can help you. But the search explorer is a great tool, but let's move on to the next one. The next tool can be found in the TubeBuddy dashboard up here at the top and then we'll go to the extension tools where it says seo studio so we're going to click on that and then it's going to say what's your target keyword well we found out that the lethal company it was the monster guide i thought was a pretty good one so let's type in our target keyword which will be lethal company monster guide hit start and then i'll put it in our title and description and give you advice on how to improve the score on the side so it says include your target keyword naturally in the title as well as include partial matches of your target keyword in the description. So what we can do to boost this up a little bit is one, change our title. So we got lethal company monster guide and we can put in parentheses for beginners since it's be targeted for new players, makes sense, right? That'll boost that up right there. And then our description will have to be something that how we can describe our video in easy terms and not just literally copy and paste. So basically try and make a human sentence on how, what the video is gonna be about while also including the keywords in your title in the description. So I'll make something real quick. So I came up with this tutorial video is a monster guide for the new hit game Lethal Company and is perfect for beginners to learn the game. So now that we've had this completed right here, then we can go to the next portion. So we're going to hit next. And so we have a couple tags here. So we have the one, obviously, but now we can go and just populate with these little suggested tags only if they're relevant, though. So basically, if something comes up and it's not a part of the video, then don't bother. But we got Lethal Company monster guide, monster guide, monster guide, and you can also type in ones here so let's just say lethal company monster oh god i can't spell monster guide for beginners we're gonna put that bad boy in there and then once you've added all of your necessary tags you can hit the next button and then it will demo what your video thumbnail was going to look like compared to others with this target keyword so you're going to want to put something that doesn't blend in but rather stands out which is probably why this guy's video is doing really good because there's a pretty interesting color here and none of the other colors really have that. They're all kind of like black and red. Whereas this guy has the idea to do this like Easter-ish color, pastel color in that one. And both of those videos are going crazy. Just another thing to keep an eye on. So you can use different thumbnails to see how it's going to blend in with your competitors. And so you can use these three steps and copy them over to the video that you want to do in order to give yourself the best shot at competing with all of these other people on YouTube. Another really useful tool is if we go to back to the TubeBuddy features, you can check out the best time to publish, which I use all the freaking time. So we'll click on that and then it'll bring you to when your viewers are on YouTube. If you already have somewhat of an audience and it'll recommend recommend that I should upload weekly at noon on Sunday, which I personally don't do, but I do follow it on the daily schedule, which I usually upload on Fridays at 12 p.m. because TubeBuddy told me to, because that's when a lot of my viewers are going to be on YouTube, giving my video the best chance to perform. And basically the first hour that your YouTube video is live on YouTube is a very crucial point on how much YouTube will recommend your video. So this is extremely helpful to know. Another really useful feature is if you go over to the side, I'm under the content tab under the YouTube studio, but we have the TubeBuddy icon on the side. There is the suggested shorts button. So if you click that, it's going to go through and basically look at all of your analytics for your videos. And it's going to pick out individual clips and moments from your videos based off of how often people are watching and the retention increases and all that stuff. So as you can see here, it would suggest that I make a short out of this video, specifically this portion of the video, because there was an 86% retention increase. And so you can go through and just basically get ideas of little shorts that you can make based off of your viewers retention for those videos, which I think is pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> so crazy. I can't even talk properly and it just saves so much time 
when it comes to coming up with shorts from your little long form videos. Also a really, really useful like sleeper feature that I don't think a lot of people know about. And I don't really know of any other tools that do this, but for example, like all, I have hundreds of videos on the channel, right? And one thing that I like to do is switch out links in my YouTube descriptions, but obviously going through individually one by one is such a pain in the butt. Like you have no idea. <laughs> so if you go to your content under YouTube with the TubeBuddy tool, you go to the bulk and miscellaneous tools. So we'll click that and you click find and replace text. So you'll click that and then you'll be able to put a string of text in. So let's say it's like an Amazon link or a different kind of link. I'll be able to put that link in here and then I'll be able to put the new link whether I would like to replace it with or text or whatever you want to use it for. It's really versatile, right? And you'll be able to go and it'll scan through all of your videos, hundreds of videos and automatically find and replace that text. So you don't have to individually go one by one into each and every description because that is such a pain in the butt. And so now I don't find many people talking about that, but I use that pretty much every other day. It's well, it, it depends on how much I'm like swapping stuff out, but you get the point. But if we go back up to the TubeBuddy settings, you can also use something like the click magnet, which is really helpful. And basically you can just hit get started and it will scan through all of your YouTube videos, all of your video analytics and everything on your channel for the most part. And while we wait for this to load, if you guys want to upgrade your content and keep improving your content to get better and better, then check out my new website, C pause music, which I'll leave linked down below in the description. And I got a bunch of different resources for you guys to use over on the website so go check it out but you can see you have different options like power rankings element inspector ctr opportunities and advanced analytics my favorite one that i like to do is either power rankings or ctr opportunities one because if you click power rankings what it'll do it'll go through all of your videos and basically tell you which videos are performing the best so it'll basically show you hey you should start making more videos that are like this because your audience likes it but i really like the ctr opportunities so if we click that basically it'll tell you what videos are getting views but they could be improved to get even more views so for example with this opportunity it's very high because it's performing good but the ctr is crap which means i'm gonna have to update the title or update the thumbnail and just make changes and see which one is gonna increase the CTR because it's doing really good, but it could be doing even better. Which brings me to my absolute favorite TubeBuddy feature, and that involves the thumbnail. And in order to find this tool, we gotta go to one of our videos. So I'm gonna go to my content tab. We'll go to my latest video here. So I'm gonna click on this one, and then you'll see this entire toolbox on the side. And if you don't, you should be able to click this little TubeBuddy logo and it'll pop out. But from here, what we can do is find the AB testing and title generator. And if you don't find that here, you can click this test alternative button there, same thing. So we can click on AB testing, and by the way, this is a premium feature, but I completely upgraded my account just to be able to use this because it's freaking awesome and I would highly recommend it. But you'll be able to run different tests like different titles, different thumbnails. And so for example, if we click thumbnail, I'm gonna hit next, then I'll be able to choose how long we wanna run the test for the A-B test. So I'm gonna do until it reached statistical significance, we're gonna hit next. And then I'm gonna be able to upload a second thumbnail. And so what it'll do is I'll pick my thumbnail. I'm just gonna pick this random thumbnail for the video purposes and I'll click start test. It says your test has been successfully scheduled and then TubeBuddy will automatically switch out the two different thumbnails every so often and measure how many people are actually looking at it. But let me show you the data. So if we go over to TubeBuddy.com after we've made our account and everything, we can go to the top right and click my account. Then we'll be able to find our YouTube channel under our channels on this main homepage. And so I'll go to A-B test. So we'll click on A-B test. And then you can see my new A-B test. So it's waiting to start because it obviously has to get data on the first original like thumbnail and then move on to the variation. But if we scroll down, you can see I use this thing all the freaking time, almost like every single video, which is kind of crazy. So for example, we'll just click on this video right here. And it showed after picking between these two different thumbnails and testing them in and out, it shows which one had the most click through rate how many clicks it had off of the impressions and the average watch time per impression, as well as everything else like YouTube search, suggested video. Basically, it does all the hard work of you second guessing yourself as a creator, because I know that I'm not a professional thumbnail artist. So I kind of like, oh, well, I don't know which one's going to be better. So TubeBuddy is your personal thumbnail artist that will basically say, hey, this one's better after running the test and giving you the data to back it up. So this feature alone, I believe, is completely worth the premium plan on TubeBuddy. So if you want to continue to grow your YouTube channel, then watch this playlist right here. I show you a bunch of videos on how you can grow your channels. But my name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.